Hey everyone! I know the title of this video probably sounds a little self-deprecating, but that's not exactly the purpose. I'm not looking for any compliments to make myself feel better, so you don't need to leave one unless you really want to. I know this won't be a very revolutionary conversation, as I know there's people who've said it better than I ever could, but I'm still going to try to talk about it with my own experiences involved. So, I'm not conventionally attractive. The important word here is conventionally. Do I believe I'm ugly? I suppose that's based on your standards. But what truly rules people's tastes tend to be what is known as beauty standards. You may not believe so, but a lot of the, sta the standards you have reflect the overall societal view of what is deemed attractive. This affects all genders, however, it affects women more negatively. This also goes for queer folk, people of color, and other marginalized identities. That's important to keep in mind. While this video follows my own experiences, there are others who have to deal with it in a worse way than I do. It just touched my face. So to draw from myself, if you can't already tell, I'm not exactly what society deems as attractive. One reason would be that I'm not skinny. Back in high school, while I called myself fat, I really wasn't that big. I look back on old photos and I know for sure that I've gained a lot of weight. I've acquired a thick neck, a big belly, fat arms and legs, and it's good to point out at this moment that when I say the word fat, I'm not using it to demean myself, I'm saying it because I'm fat and that is the term I want to use. Another reason is that I don't take care of myself the way some femi people do. I don't wear makeup. My normal wardrobe is a pair of sweatpants and a hoodie. I have pimples and scars all over my face and neck. And I have hair that grows in unseemly places like my neck, my arms, and my upper lip. So, does these things make me unattractive? Well, according to society's, society standards, it does. I mean, that standard is usually skinny, perfect, light skin, able body, hyper feminine, especially if you look fat, and not looking queer. Not exactly inclusive. I'm white and able bodied so my experiences only go so far. I should also preface this with, if you're a woman who meets these standards, this is not me saying that you don't have struggles and don't face discrimination. You may face harassment because of how you look and that's valid to point out, but this discussion is not about that. If we're using an example, if I were a popular YouTuber who is known to be fat, like say, Megan Tonjes, my comment section would be cluttered with people concerned about my weight. I'm not going to sit here and explain my health to you. It's my business and I deserve respect no matter what my weight is. People would already find something wrong with me just based on that so you can imagine how a stranger might look at me. In my experience, there is a tendency to put fat people under standards such as hyperfemininity or hypermasculinity depending on what gender you present as or what people perceive you as. These are people who believe if you aren't performing femininity or masculinity correctly, you are an unacceptable fat person. As a side note, even if you do perform the standard well, I've found people still judge you for being fat. They're just more likely to tolerate you if you at least try to live up to this standard. When I do dress femininely, I just do baseline. 
I wear a nice dress, or a nice skirt and a shirt. Sometimes I wear jeans. But that's about as far as I go. I don't go out of my way to wear makeup or anything else. I don't even have what people usually want out of a curvier body. <laughs> I may have a good sized chest, but I don't have ass, an ass or hips. <laughs> and no, I'm not looking for any ways to fix that. So how does this affect me personally? I've grown a lot over the years where I've learned to, at the very least, accept myself for who I am. I'm trying to be healthier, but I'm not going out of my way to lose weight that I'm sure not, that I'm not even sure I'll actually lose. I'm okay with the body I have. I don't find it ugly. It gets me around, it keeps me alive. I'm satisfied with myself no matter what size I am. However, the idea that no one will ever find me attractive messes with my head sometimes. As I said before, I'm asexual, so I'm not so much worried about people finding me sexually attractive. But a lot of people out there are more willing to talk to you and get to know you if they find you attractive. It's a fact I've learned to accept. I never express these views to some people because I'm often scared they'll tell me to change myself. You know, dress up, put on some makeup, lose some weight. But the thing is, I don't have to change myself in order to make another person happy. If I'm comfortable with who I am, why should I have to change my appearance in order to be accepted? We shouldn't be told that in order to find love, whether romantic or platonic, we need to change ourselves. And we aren't talking about shitty belief systems here, we're talking about the way we look. I don't want to have to do things that make me uncomfortable in order to gain approval from others. I don't think anyone should. Sure, it's okay if you want to dress up for someone else, but you shouldn't feel obligated to. You shouldn't feel like the only way to be accepted is to be exactly what everyone expects you to look like. So people can call me names and tell me how to live my life, but I'm not going to choose to listen. I'm okay with the body I have, even the parts that people would deem unlikable. I have people in my life who love me just as I am. I don't have to prove myself for others. If there are family members who think I should lose weight or random people on the internet who say I should change how I look, well, I don't really care. Not anymore. I don't even care if someone says I've lost weight because honestly, I'll be okay with whatever body I'm in. It shouldn't be deemed better or worse depending on how many pounds I am. That isn't a life I'm leading anymore. It's exhausting feeling awful about your looks because people just inevitably use it against you. I'm not gonna stick around to hear it anymore. I hope as time goes on, more and more people feel that way about themselves. I'm not saying you have to love every inch of yourself. I'm saying that you should be comfortable with yourself no matter what you look like. Dress up if you want to, not because other people want you to. Don't think that you have to change yourself to be accepted because there will always be people out there that love you, all of you, including your body. I hope that you could get something out of this. If anything, maybe the will to put up your middle finger at any one person or bad thought who tries to make you feel like shit. Either way, I'm gonna go. Have a great night, day, morning, wherever and whenever you're watching this, and I'll see ya.